Last month, the Mahoning Valley Historical Society gave Joe Petaline its Board of Directors Award of Achievement, calling him a non-traditional preservationist for his work in saving historic houses in one north side neighborhood. But who is Joe Petaline and what exactly did he do? I met with him this afternoon to find out. My first stop with Joe Petaline was the Prep Wellness Cafe on Elm Street in Youngstown. The building which houses the restaurant was the first commercial building he owned. Because it was close to the university and I was paying $4,000 for a building. Petaline then took me into the heart of the north side, the corner of Ohio and Laura Avenues, to show me a cluster of 10 homes he also once owned, all of which are around 100 years old. So by controlling the neighborhood, I, I controlled the tenants. So you bought them all? Yeah. One of the first buildings Petaline bought was the Laura Building, which in its day, he says, housed business executives. Once he started buying, he kept going with the adjacent houses, some of which are 5,000 square feet. He paid from $3,400 to $20,000 a house. Well, I started there, and when that was finished, the tenants would say, you know, they're doing crack there. And I'd go to the landlord and say, hey, either clean it up or sell it. And of course, they sold it in a second. Petaline also painted some of the houses in pastels, greens, and pinks to let people know they were no longer crack houses. He's also stood and watched as houses have been demolished on the north side. At the time, I was for it, but now I'm ready for a referendum on let's not. We, we're down to a sustainable amount of people for the amount of housing. And now it's time to let's preserve everyone that's left. For a while, Joe Petaline was also part owner of the B&O station. Now the only property he owns is a warehouse on the Lower West Side that he rents to artists. All the houses that he bought, he has sold. Right. When you stand here and look at these, are you a little proud that you helped save them? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is my heart and soul when it is, you know. Though most of Joe Petaline's investments have been on the north side, he actually lives on the east side. As far as the award from the Historical Society, he says it's nice to get credit for his accomplishments.